we are divorced. Anything were to ever happen where we weren't together anymore, I would definitely not do this marriage shit again. Hi guys! <laughs> Big up yourself! <laughs> Hi guys! Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. It's the latest on trend with your girl, Biani. You are welcome to my channel. If this is your first time over here, my name is Biami and I talk about all things trending. And there are just a few things that has been revealed with our favourite YouTubers. If you guys know, if you guys have been on the YouTube space for a long time, then this will be quite touching and perhaps quite triggering quite emotional chanel boating okay because she's rebranding she has revealed that unfortunately well i kind of have a feeling that it's fortunately for her she has announced her divorce on her channel many of you would know that i've been married for eight years and i have a son with this man um we have parted when we've gone our separate ways and we are divorced um or oh, i would say by the time this video goes live it will be at the final final stage of our divorce i like the fact that it was short i like the fact that it wasn't a long-winded video she wanted to get straight to the point i don't feel like she particularly wanted to talk about it um and also okay wait 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 rewind rewind i'm gonna come back to it because i really do want to i get i want to give my own little two pence to it only because i came across this um this video of this lady on tiktok and she was basically explaining um marriage and she said if god forbid anything happened well i added that little god forbid but she said if anything ever happened she loves her husband she loves being his wife she loves it all but if anything ever happened then she wouldn't do this marriage thing again and she broke down why just because you love each other does not mean your marriage is going to work love is not enough it takes patience understanding it takes compassion it takes consideration it takes forgiveness it takes selflessness for the rest of my life, every decision I make, I have to think about how it's going to affect my husband. If you are not willing to have that level of consideration, do not get married. It's quite interesting because she's been married for, I think, 13 years. <coughs> Sorry, maybe 11 years. And they've been together for 13 years. So my voice is, oh, my voice um, is slightly going. Sorry about my voice. I think she, they've been together for 11 years married for 13 sorry duh, that doesn't even make sense together for 13 years and married for 11 years i'm not too sure i can't remember i might actually do a separate video on that i think this is definitely a conversation that needs to be done we need to have especially in the coming years because of the um the divorce rate and whether people actually still do believe in marriage and what is the significance of it how how are we surviving you know marriages now or are we enduring them are we doing them just for the sake of doing it one thing that i will say though before i do get into um, the video that chanel posted whenever a woman goes through a rebirthing you know something significant has changed in her life and like she said i think quite a lot of people clocked it but <coughs> she um she kind of ignored it for a reason she wasn't ready to talk about it she was going through that self loving self care self evolving self discovery phase that women go through they change their hair they change their body they change their wardrobe they change their mindset and it's quite interesting that women thrive more after they go through a breakup or something breaks them and women have a way of rebuilding themselves um from the ground up they have a way of reforming redefining themselves in a really powerful way and it's quite interesting in a way in a sense that why does it have to take that 
for that evolution to happen in our lives you tend to find that most of the time when women come out of something that they were not particularly happy about they glow up like they legit glow up and the glow up is fantastic it's phenomenal she had her surgery of course she started traveling by herself um she started doing a lot of things and actually succeeding in glowing you could tell that she's glowing you could tell that she's putting in the work and it's quite interesting that um it happens in that way because having a partner you know they're supposed to push you they're supposed to bring out the best in you they're supposed to elevate you but I think sometimes you find that women tend to drown a lot more in relationships and I think there could be an issue there. I find that a lot of married couple it's always the men that want to push themselves and want to be successful and I and I kind of find that they perhaps is that lack of balance where women are pushed to do better, pushed to thrive, you know, pushed to actually excel and if they are oftentimes it's behind closed doors is in granular form it's not really like babe I want you to shine I'm going to do everything to make sure that you do shine and I find that sometimes if the woman ends up shining more than the man then it becomes problematic it becomes an issue he starts complaining he starts saying things he starts you know wanting to put his foot down and by that time the woman has already found um something about herself that she loves she's been empowered and then there isn't that balance and there's there starts to be a breakdown in the relationship you know women find a freedom that the they potentially didn't really have and I'm not saying that men don't want their wives to be successful or their partners to be successful or do well and I'm not saying that men don't push their partners to do good either however I do feel like they do somehow feel threatened when you look at women like Chanel she was bigger she didn't really love herself I don't think she struggled a lot especially with her son um with her body image with her I think it took her years to get to this place that she had to put in a lot of work and I I feel like you know to an extent I don't know how many what the ratio is how many men would feel more comfortable will feel not let me not even say more but we'll feel comfortable we'll feel content we'll feel like a man having a woman who is more than them she's found her sexiness you know especially traditional african men i'm gonna say um (laughs) that's for another conversation for another day but the point that i'm just trying to make is that i just think that to an extent if a woman she's doing okay she's doing good of course you want to see your wife do well she's a reflection of you however i do feel like when it's when they feel like they're potentially losing control um then it will become an issue she didn't have the confidence that she has now when she was married she was bigger they focused a lot more on the religious aspect i suppose if you've followed them for a long time they spoke a lot she spoke a lot should i say about her faith and how god brought them together and so the mindset was different her perspective was different and once the perspective shifts and it doesn't align with that original design of the relationship then it can cause the breakdown you know if you want to reframe something and everything else around it does not align to what you want then that's going to be that breakdown now she did mention um that it was toxic i think there was very little that she said and she explained why you know she wants to respect um them both but um i found that it was hard for her and it was hard i think as a viewer to watch because i could still see the pain even though she was like you know i'm over it i'm healed um i'm this i'm but it was almost like when you have to say something out loud to convince yourself that you're there and you're not there you've done all of these 
external things to try and bring that internal healing and of course it to an extent it does work but I feel like there's so much that's happened you know even when she spoke about the mediation when she spoke about the toxicity when she spoke about the forgiveness um it's sad It, it, it is sad but um it looks like it's something that she needed she filed from what I sort of gathered um and there's a reason why a woman files for divorce but she will be shown a lot more on her patreon and um i think maybe later on you know she will feel compelled to share it a lot more publicly just because i feel like it is a part of her story a part of her journey and maybe a part of her mandate as well really um it is part of restoration a lot of women um that could relate to her would have would you know really benefit from her story and i think she will get to a stage where she will feel compared to share a lot more publicly but yeah guys um it's crazy it's it's crazy but i think a lot of people kind of saw it coming Talking of YouTube OGs, it looks like the Patron came together on Debbie's crown video. If you guys don't know, then you just don't know. But um, the Patron were a really popular group of three um, who joined forces back in 2013 when they were at university um and they were studying law i believe and they separated and when they separated it was a big shock not just the youtube community but to their fans they launched a patron cosmetic they were growing they were doing really really well and some allegations flew around that you know debbie had a disagreement with shola and um adiola and she was snapping a lot and actually she did say in her video that she was kind of the reason why they're separated now 10 years later um she did say in the video that they have come across each other at influencers event um but you know all of these years has passed and they have finally come on camera together in this way and this was a very exciting moment for their fans because they were really really loved and you know what it's i actually liked it i i i love to see it because i feel like last year we saw a lot of influencers breaking up fighting with each other and i think this is a really key moment for that um for that reunion for maybe this could inspire a lot of unity in 2023 who knows um i found that debbie seemed quite nervous even before she said it in the end but i don't know it just kind of felt a little bit rigid it felt a little bit awkward um but i'm kind of happy as well that they didn't really capture a lot of moments because then that actually shows that um it wasn't fake like you know i feel like a lot of influencers come together and they create content and pretend they pretend to like have this bestie type of thing like on camera but then like two weeks later they start fighting and they just don't get on but i'm glad that they didn't do that i think this is one of those things where maybe they just needed to have that conversation and i think things are very different now like they're on two they're on completely different paths of lives and sometimes when you part for so many years and you evolve and you go your own different directions and ways it won't be the same again and even though you might sort of have missed the relationship and think actually could we come together it just it won't be the same again and you just kind of respect each other love each other from afar and not kind of force the relationship they've built different friendship groups and i don't know i, I don't know where the future holds for them but for the youtube community um for those who have been around for a really long time i think this was a really key and significant moment they um, had really good 
um reaction from their fans but yeah guys that is what is currently going on in the youtube space and in the influencing space thank you so much for tuning in make sure you like comment share subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll speak to you guys in my next video